You're looking for gold, aren't you? Maybe while playing Shane Echoes. There are quite a few things where you want to upgrade for a lot of cash, buy for a lot of cash, and the list goes on and on, but there aren't that much cash lying around. You should be looking for this little guy, the Golden Borb Bob, and in this guide, I'll tell you where to go looking, how to grab it, and how to grind it. So let's get down to it. The first thing I should mention, however, is that this is a late game money farming trick. You need to have had 100,000 gold on you. You don't have to have it on you at the same time or at the time of grinding, but you have to have had 100,000 gold in order to get this golden little bird to appear in the first place. But after you've crossed that border, it's free to grind forever. And before we get started, I also want to mention that if you are enjoying this video, this channel, or if this guide is helping out, you know what? Those like and subscribe buttons are there, and I would super appreciate it if you hit those. Now, here we have Shambhala on the map, and that's where you need to go. So you have to have the capability of flying there. So that in itself puts it further down the line in this game. But yeah, Shambhala is where we need to go. And just to clarify, this is how Shambhala actually looks when you're not on the map. So it's a little flying island. We go there through the story and you can go back there whenever you want when you have the flying ship. Here we are in Shambhala and we are at the middle lower bottom of the map right next to the crystal and that's where you end up if you just go to Shambhala straight away. I have the entire map explored at this point as well I should add. So the island with the bird is situated just above this starting island and on that island you can find a red crystal and on the right side of that red crystal there is a golden egg and inside of that egg is our money making bird. So those of you who want to go there and start grinding straight away Go ahead and do that but we will look into the grinding loop so to speak so here is the red crystal i was talking about on the island above where we started out i just had to grab some free cash and here's the golden egg and it's a fluffy golden bird and at this point golden borb bob should not really be a problem i was actually surprised about how quickly it went down but yes there it is and one attack later, it's gone, and we have a Platinum Nugget. And the Platinum Nugget is what we are looking for. So, here you can see. Useless for crafting can be sold for a high price, and it's actually worth 10000 So, a few of those will fix your money problems fairly quickly. So, when it's gone, you can just use the teleportation and go back to Shambhala and the, the lower crystal. And here you can see, we're back. I'm not sure why I did it twice, but you know, I think I wanted to see if it worked properly, and it does. So you don't need to do what I just did. Just go to the lower teleportation crystal and go back to where we found the birdie. And here you can see, that's the red crystal. Here's the golden egg. And then you need to drop down so you can start the actual fight. You can see where I am on the map right there. And here we go again. And one attack later, we have another Platinum Nugget. So that's actually 20,000 gold in the bank already. And if you want to make this as quick as possible, I should say, feel free to uh, mix with the crystals to increase rare drop rates and stuff like that. Even without it, it shouldn't be that time consuming. But with it, it might go even quicker because it has some alternative drops. I think one of them is here. Yeah, the golden nugget. It's still worth money, but the platinum is what we are looking for. So either maximize with the drop rate crystals or just get into the swing of this loop. It's not a very big one and it's not very time consuming and you can get a lot of money fairly quickly. I think I got 100,000 plus in about 10 minutes or so. So that's that. Hopefully this guide will help you get rich in Shane Echoes. 
So now that we are rich, there are still other things we can do in Shane Echoes and I have guides showing you how to do them. So why not continue our adventure together in one of those?